What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing another screencasting video for my TCO Roku 4 series 65 inch TV. Um, I think there's been some updates on the Android side of screen mirroring or casting your phone screen to the TV. Since my last video about a year and a half ago I think and so I'm just going to do a quick little recap of how to do it. I think there's some new features even. I haven't really done it in a while, so we'll learn together on this quick walkthrough. Plus I need to set up my new phone uh, to this TV, so might as well just kill two birds with one stone. Um, again, if you have an Apple device, this isn't the video for you. I don't mess with Apple products, and um, I don't even know how to cast it to a screen just because I've never messed with them. But maybe in the future, I'll get a friend's iPhone and cast it to the TV just to show you how to do it real quickly. Uh, but for this video, it's only for Android devices. And so to begin, go to your home screen. We're going to go to settings real quickly. Go up to uh, system, I think. And then go up to screen mirroring. And then none of these have changed since my last video, which I'll have in the bio down below. Uh, the screen mirroring mode, whenever you try to mirror to your TV, these are the three options you can pick for a prompt, which is whenever you cast to your TV screen, a uh, prompt will pop up on your TV to ask you to confirm that whatever device it is, is okay to cast to your screen. And then there's one that's always allowed, so it doesn't even ask you, it just lets whatever uh, device that's connected to the Wi-Fi connect to the TV, and it doesn't need permission from you to cast, so um, if you like to live life on the edge, you can do that, I guess. And then never allow, so you literally can never try to cast to the TV, and you'll never have an option to allow it. Uh, I don't think there should be ever a reason for that, but prompt is my go-to. Um, and then the next one is screen mirroring devices. It's just which devices you already have connected to the TV, you've casted before and you gave permission to always allow it to cast without a prompt popping up. These are my three. I think two of these are my old phones and then I think this one's my laptop, I don't know. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of them. Maybe I'll leave that one, I don't know. Okay, but once you do all that, um, then you'll be back at square one, which is where I just was. And now we can look at the phone that we're trying to cast to the TV and work from there. Um, bear with me as I balance the camera and do this stuff at the same time. Um, this is my new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Uh, it probably looks very similar to your phone, whichever one you're using, that's an Android device. Uh, but what you want to do, scroll down, scroll down again. Let's not be as blurry here, but it's going to be blurry anyways. And then you want to scroll over till you see an option that says smart view right here. And this is your main uh, icon that you're going to use whenever you're trying to screencast, screen mirror, whatever interchangeable word really to your TV. So you go ahead and click that. And then this pops up, it says smart view, show your phone on a TV, view your phone screen or play videos on a nearby TV, watch TV on your phone, watch cons, oh wait, watch content from a nearby TV on your phone, even without turning on the TV and then high quality playback, view videos and photos from your gallery on your TV in their original quality. Um, and then it just says next down there. Wow, look how much better it looks. Okay, next. And then what's this shit say? My bad, I'm trying to, there we go. That looks way better. Let's just lock that. All right, SmartView uses these permissions. The following permissions are acquired by the nearby service app which helps smart view transfer content to your tv so it needs your location at all to all the time and then your storage because if you're going to cast 
you know, photos or videos that you have in your gallery is going to need to get to that. Um, but of course I'm just going to hit continue and then it's going to start looking for devices that are nearby you. Um, so there's my TV and then, um, yeah, so hit your device. Then this pops up, says Smart View will have access to the info on your screen or played from your phone while mirroring. This can include passwords, payment details, pictures, messages, and more. Um, who cares? Smart start now. Okay, and then it's doing that. And then on the TV, it should pop up an icon that says, let me get this looking better. Ricky would like to cast to your TV and then you can pick your option for that. And again, because it's my phone, my TV, I'm just gonna hit always allow it. And so then it does this little pear thing, kind of looks like an apple. And now it's starting video from my phone to the TV. Uh, let's hope that this runs smoothly. All right, it didn't run smoothly as planned. So let us troubleshoot for a second. Let's see what happened. So let me go back to the phone real quick. Um, so we'll try and connect back to the 65 inch TCL Roku TV. Uh, it says the same thing as before. It's trying to connect back up here. We are also trying to connect. And now we are good to go. Of course, you know, there's always hiccups that happen. So if it doesn't work the first time you try, try, try again, and maybe it'll work the second time. Um, but then if you see, on my phone, uh, it says change aspect ratio. You could change the aspect ratio. Why did it do that? You could change the aspect ratio to fill the whole screen on the connected device. This may cause some apps to restart. Um, cancel or change, let's just change, I don't know. I don't think much change there, nor on the TV. So now anything I do on my phone will be done on the TV as well. So I'm just going to show the, the TV screen for now. Um, so what it did on my phone was actually made the screen size shorter than what it currently was. So it fits on the TV completely. Um, it's hard to tell, you know, me showing the camera of my phone because it's dark in here, but it's about an inch and a half from the top and bottom that cut off from my phone screen to just black uh, to fit the TV aspect ratio. And you can always change it back to the other way if you want. So we'll go to YouTube and on YouTube, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Okay. Let's make it work. It says tap icon below to keep the current app on your TV. Open a different app on your phone. So you can multitask. It's almost like having a monitor and showing other things on the monitor while you're doing other things on your phone. Um, kind of cool feature to have. I like to think. So I'll just hit OK. And now everything I'm doing on my phone, you can see on the screen. Um, so let me go to cat, shit, cat playing with fid, yeah, I can't spell, fidget spinner. And then we'll scroll down and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling till we find my video of my cat. Okay. Audio controlled by the phone, uh, controls it on the TV. And so if I rotate 
my phone it rotates on the screen as well but it fits the TV screen perfectly on my phone it cuts out the sides again that one and a half inches on both sides of the screen a um, little bit of lag I see but that could be because I rotated my screen while the video was playing so there's a little bit of delay for that to change back but for the most part it's playing pretty smoothly from the from the phone to the TV without much choppiness and distortion the audio it's pretty solid I would like to think um, whenever I touch the volume it looks like is when it it makes it lag a little bit on the TV and on my phone as well it both lags the same um, but that's pretty much it and I mean it's pretty simple to do um, let me show my phone hold on all right go back to here so my phone again here's this button right here okay it went away that lets you do stuff on it I don't know there we go so you can app cast pause smart view so whatever you're doing or showing on your TV it won't show what you're doing on your phone or just pause whatever it was on darken phone screen Phone screen will go dark while using smart view. This reduces glare, increases battery life. Uh, swipe the screen or press the power keys. So this just means like you're just trying to cast something to your TV and you don't want to use your phone anymore. So it's like, you know, if you close out of your phone, since you're casting from your phone, that means it'll just show a black screen on your TV as well because your phone screen is off. So this is the alternative of that. So it's pretty much locked, but it's not at the same time. So it just saves your battery life really at the end of the day. Um, make you just swipe to open it back up. Selfie video, so you can actually have, I think, uh, let's use it. So you can actually have your front camera on while you're doing this i don't know why you would actually want to do that but you can so that's a cool feature again i guess i mean maybe if you're doing some re recording or some sort maybe like what i'm doing right now and i wanted to show my face while i'm doing it i guess that's a cool feature but for the most part i don't like to show myself during my videos you just hear my voice instead um but this is pretty much your main hub right here so I'll turn off the selfie thing. Uh, if we scroll down, there's nothing else really on here. Um, I don't know what AppCast is. So I don't know if this means I can use two apps. Okay, so AppCast means this. So how I got ESPN on the background it's not showing ESPN over here. It's just showing YouTube still. So that's kind of like multitasking in a way. Um, cool feature, especially if you're showing somebody something and you really don't care what it is, but they want to see it and you really don't want to pay attention while it's being shown from your phone. A uh, nice little thing. So you can do that. And then if you want to get off of it, you guess hit that button and then it's just showing ESPN on both now. Uh, a lot of the cool little features. I don't think they used to have a lot of this stuff back when I first made the, the screen mirroring video. Um, and then if you want to stop sharing your screen, you just hit disconnect. And then your phone is yours again. And the TV is back to just being, I don't know, Roku TV, TCL Roku TV. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of screen mirroring from an Android device. Um, nothing too complicated, I like to think. Um, there's nothing too fancy I did on here. A lot of cool little features that make the, 
make the screen mirroring kind of special with Android, I think. Um, a lot more customization options than they used to have. And uh, I don't know, it's better than using like, I used to use like Chromecast. And now that a lot of smart TVs and other things are capable of already having that built in, you know, it's one less wire behind your TV, one less HDMI port being used. Uh, so there's so many benefits from that. If you got any questions, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it whenever I see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.